So we're here at the Foundry Art Center. In our main galleries, we currently have Art of the Arcade, which is an exhibition in partnership with Two Plumbers Brewery and Arcade. And it's completely free and open to the public. A question that I've been getting a lot as I've been preparing this exhibition is why games in an art gallery? And the answer is that art is everywhere. A lot of people don't think about it, but several different types of artists worked to create the games, from the gaming cabinets and the actual circuitry to the design of the games themselves, the characters, the background, everything is art. And this exhibition really gives people a chance to not only have fun, play games, but also it lets people appreciate them as the artwork that they are. There's a very in-depth history, and we go into that a little bit with a lot of these games, of how everything came to be and the artistry and the technical skill that was used to create these games. This exhibition is also very accessible. There's no reason to feel intimidated if you have not had a lot of experience with games. I myself haven't even had a ton of experience playing a lot of these arcade games, but you can just come in and play, and there's a little bit of something for everyone. So maybe you're not great at OutRun, but you might be really good at pinball. So there's something for everyone, all ages, all skill levels. It's just a place to come, have fun, and appreciate the artwork that is arcade. So when you first walk in, you'll be hit by tons of cabinet games. So we have Pac-Man in here. We have several very rare cocktail games, such as Joust and Centipede, as well as Multicades. We spaced them out in a way where you can really appreciate the sides of the cabinets and the beautiful artwork that went into that. We have a couple of games here from personal collections. So they haven't been out in an arcade and they haven't been beaten up or anything like that. So they're pristine and beautiful. Some of the highlights that you absolutely cannot miss when you come is our custom pinball painter. So it is a pinball machine that we've had retrofitted. And what you can do is put a piece of paper in, ink up some pinballs. And as you're playing the game, the ink dripped balls roll across the paper and create paintings. Then the finished paintings are creating an installation in the gallery, which is really beautiful. So it's another layer of artwork and how it relates to the arcade. Another fan favorite already is our den, and that is an area of the gallery that focuses on home gaming consoles. So we have a plethora of console games from the 70s through the 90s and even some of the early 2000s and it's open play. So you're welcome to play some Atari, play some original Nintendo, and kind of relive your childhood away. And then another layer of the exhibition is that we have a weekly high scoreboard. So we'll have a featured game of the week, and everyone can come in, play that game. And of course, no arcade is complete without the prize counter. So we have a prize counter set up so that those that win those high scores can pick out a fun little prize at the end of the gallery. As a viewer, what's also really fun about this is how it's interactive art. Art doesn't have to be static, such as a sculpture or a painting. It can be living, breathing, movable, interactive art. So you, as the visitor, are also controlling the art and in a way being a part of the artwork as well. Art of the Arcade with Two Plumbers Brewery and Arcade will be open through September 23rd, and you can learn more about it at foundryartcenter.org.